information from, but there is no leadership crisis. I repeat, no leadership crisis. I realize you are a stockholder, Mr. Simpson, uh -huh. major investor, exactly. Well, frankly, and I assure you, your stocks are as good as gold. But judging from the tenor of your questions, solitary. you're devoted to smut. It's business as usual and yeah. better than ever. Well, I suggest you look. We are in no crisis. In <gasps> What's all this hell raising about a crisis? HB. Oh, Granddaddy, I am so glad you're here. Well, I got this. Hi. Wild telephone call at Cross Creek saying the company was going to hell in a handbasket. We're not going anywhere in a handbasket, HB. Of course we're not, darling. But these things, you know, well, they're they're like twisters. They just spring out of nowhere. They move this way and that way, bring down kinds of all kinds of destruction at the same time, and then just die away, you know? The big thing is just to get out of their way, which is what we're gonna do. Oh, uh, uh. The twister's already hit, huh? Here's run another edition. Let's Wanda, see if it's better than the last. Let me see that, Wanda. Socialite brings young stud home to meet the family. But th th this is your living room. That's you, Vanessa. Who the hell is that guy hugging you? I can't see his face. Mr. Pete, you are getting so big. The Pete star. Pete man. You're a big boy, aren't you? Yeah. You know, you're a lucky boy, too. Two mommies that love you. That's pretty good. Most people only get one mommy, but you get two mommies. You know what? You and I have to do something. We have to work to make sure that the two mommies learn how to love each other again. Trust each other. You think we can do that, you and me? Think we can change them? Make them happy again? I think so. That way we can be one big happy family. What do you think? Hmm? Sorry, Matt. I, I don't think we can do that. It's one of them doctored photos. These damn tabloids, you know, they'll make up all kinds of dirty garbage just to sell papers. Well, I'm not going to have people telling lies about my darling Vanessa, mother of my grandson, and get away with it. What's that yahoo uh, reporter's name? Uh, Wankel. Wankel. I'm going to take this wankle, and I'll string him up by his wankle, and then I'll sue that lily-livered publisher for every red now, cent he's got, Daddy, damn it to calm hell. calm down. You're not supposed to get yourself all riled up. Who said? I say. Now, come over here and sit down, please. Philistines, a lot of them. Well, aren't you going to say anything, uh, Vanessa? You're not going to let him get away with this stuff, are you? You're going to make them eat their lies, aren't you? i got a lot of collating to do. Anything for the almighty dollar, no matter who gets hurt. HB, the photo is real. The more people get hurt, the Nobody more... Nobody doctored the photo. Say what? Aside from some purple prose, the story is real. Real? Well, this, uh, whatever they call him, uh, this guy was really getting fresh with you, wasn't he? They call him Stud. But he's actually somebody very important to me. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, I was hoping to have a chance to talk to you about this. Does uh, little Billy know? Yes. And Daddy knows, too. Poor Henry. Oh, no, wait a minute. I didn't do this to hurt my family. Well, still, how is this going to sit with Billy in jail reading this trash? I don't know. I'm sure Billy will have a lot to say about it. I just haven't had a chance to talk to him yet. But now you're here, and that's great, because Mindy and I could certainly use your help right now. What's this guy's name? Oh, boy. We really got trouble now. What are you doing this, Bridge? Why are you judging me like that? That's not like Back you. Back off, all right? Look, all I'm trying to say... No, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get me to open up and share my, my innermost feelings with you, and I have no desire to do that. And why is it your feelings are the only ones that ever count? No, my feelings aren't the ones that count here. Peter's are. He's the most important person in this whole situation, and you know it. I heard you talking to him before. Yeah, right. I understand that. Of course. Okay, well, I'm sorry I jumped down your throat. It's okay. You know, you're really good with kids. Yeah, I'm a regular Pied Piper. I just always thought that you'd have a whole slew of your own. Well, I probably will someday. I didn't know there was a statute of limitations on that. Oh, so you and Vanessa have talked about kids? 
I am so sorry. They, they said that they wouldn't leave Ooh. until they saw Vanessa. Barbarians, call security. Have them barred from the Lewis property. Uh, they're not reporters. They're... Wait, Harlan. Wait. Good, good. We're glad you're here. Hey, Bob, good to see you. We, uh, we thought you all were those varmints who call themselves reporters. What did you come to see us about? I didn't know we needed an official agenda. After all, we all go way back. And we are the three largest investors in Lewis Oil. You are right, and it's always good to see you, too. The three of you have had a hand in this company for a good, a good many years now. Yes, indeed. And what did you come to see us about? Well, Vanessa, they just come for a little visit. That's right. Although there is a rather unpleasant topic we've got to bring up. Ah, oh, let me guess. It's not us, of course, you understand. Well, we've known you for years, Vanessa. We've had a lot of good times with you and Billy. We'll never forget that, but associates. You know, people who haven't known you as long or as well. Well, they read the papers. Uh, some of them, even those uh, trashy ones. And I'm afraid they've been asking questions. Why don't you just come right out and say it, Bob? Or, or you, Phil. I mean, certainly you have never been one to avoid salacious gossip. Vanessa. Well, all right, fine. If you're going to be like that, then I will explain to you exactly what, what is worrying us. Who is in control here now? That's what we want to know. Who is leading this company while Josh is in the hospital? You know that I am. Well, it saddens me to say this, but we're afraid that is not quite a good enough answer. To be blunt, Vanessa, we're not sure that you are fit for the job. What the hell are you talking about? On what grounds? I can handle this, H.B. <clears throat> now, would you tell me precisely why I am unfit? Well, it's a credibility issue, Vanessa. You're a smart woman. You ought to know that the management of any large corporation is extremely important when it comes to client credibility. We're worried about the future of our very sizable combined investment while, while she's out. While I'm out doing what? While you're out cavorting with your stud. So now your entire opinion of me is based on what you very surprisingly read in the scandal sheets? Is that true? Are you claiming the story is untrue? No. I'm not denying the story. What I am saying is that my private and my professional life are entirely separate, and what's more, my private life does not make me unfit for anything at all. If you are admitting that these scandalous rumors are true, then it seems to me you must be going through some psychological problem or some emotional crisis that has made you unfit. What about you, Maud? I mean, you and I have known each other for almost 20 years. We've worked on the same committees. We raise funds for the same charities. Do you also feel that I am somehow unfit? It was one thing, those, that court case you had years ago. People talk, but I defended you no matter what they said. My son is the exact same age as those papers say your boyfriend is. Frankly, I find the whole thing distasteful. And I wonder that you don't, you don't do what any self-respecting person would do once their, their objectionable behavior has been exposed. Save everyone the embarrassment and step down. No, actually we haven't, but we both know how Vanessa feels about that. Oh, so she'd be willing to have more kids? Yeah, I mean, Vanessa loves kids. You know that better than anyone else. Why are you asking that? Oh, I don't know, just, you know, it's kind of a normal topic of conversation for people who are dating. Mm-hmm. Why are you trying to turn me off to Vanessa? Oh, I'm not trying to turn you off to Vanessa. I just think there's a lot of things about that relationship that you haven't even considered yet. I mean, the age difference alone is I don't is care about the one. age difference. I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. Well, good, then. I guess there's no problem. Look, I can't read the future. I'm not even going to try. All I know is I love Vanessa Bridget. I really do. That's good, because I love Dylan, and it just wasn't enough. But I hope it's enough for you and Vanessa. I mean, I really hope everything works out for you guys. I don't mean to rain on your parade or anything. I know. You're going to be all right. Oh, I know I will. Because I have Peter. And he'll never let me down. Exactly what is the scandal you're referring to? I'm a single woman. Is it against the law to, to 
To meet a man, to fall in love with him and want to include him in your life? I mean, he's falling in love, having a psychological problem or, or, or an emotional breakdown? That is what you said, isn't it? It's just not right, Vanessa. I think you know that. Why? What makes it wrong? What makes it distasteful? What is it about my having a relationship with a younger man that offends you? Mrs. Stewart is considerably younger than you, Bob, and very lovely, I might add. Oh, this is different. How? How? Why, what is it about my relationship with Matt Reardon that's different? Because your picture, a picture of the Lewis Oil president, was smeared all over those gossip rags. It, headlines, that's what makes it different. Oh, no, Mon, I don't think so. I think it's because I'm a woman. I think it's that simple. It's perfectly all right for Bob to marry his ex-secretary, who is half his age. But if I so much as put my arms around a young it's man in my done. own living room... You can make any excuses that you want to make, but it's just not done, that's all. And if you can't see that, then you really aren't right to be the leader of this company. I think you know more that last week a prominent Japanese businessman wanted to buy into Lewis Oil, but we didn't have the outstanding shares. Would you like to sell yours? Good heavens, no. I certainly don't want to get rid of my Lewis stock. I am just trying to get... You're just jealous. That's all. <sighs> Gentlemen, would either of you like to sell your shares? No, I... No. It's just not right. Well, HB, tell me the truth. Am I unfit? I'm going to the hospital to see Josh. I'll drive you. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. I understand that a hospital has to have rules, but when they won't let a father see his own son... Who did it? Oh, some uppity intern said Joshua was in therapy and that I'd have to wait. <sighs> well, how can I wait when we've got many things to do here, things to decide? We, I tell you, it's been some kind of morning. Coming in here was like walking into a hornet's nest with those prized citizens of Springfield trying to use their shares as shotguns. Ha! It's a mess, Vanessa. There's no getting around it. But I got to tell you something. I look at you now, and I see something in you that I haven't seen for a long time. Life. <laughs> you got that warm smile back again. The same smile you had when you were that sassy gal from years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. Matt Reardon? Yep. <laughs> nice family, nice folks. He yeah. treating you right then? Mm -hmm. Well, he better. You are something very special to me, Vanessa, darling. Uh, this don't mean that this sets perfect with me. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about all this. But I'm warning you, if he hurts one hair of your head, I so... What? Do I look like I've been hurt? No, but... <laughs> Hi. Hi. I remember you. We don't know each other very well, young man. But you will. You will, I promise. Hi. Hi. Because I love him. You be sure and love her back. You have my word on it, sir. I'll have your head if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> 